Yeah, hi, so it's Andy here for Living Greece, and today we're going to look at some house prices in Athens, okay? Let's look at Spitagatos, okay? Uh, the reason I choose Spitagatos is because it's the first one that comes up in Google search. There's no other reason for it. It's the one that we used when we moved to Greece, and they were quite good, okay? You can see here that in the centre of Athens, you can buy a 75 square metre apartment for 100 grand. And you can buy a 105 square metre apartment for 60 grand, 60,000. Hang on a minute, you can buy a 60 square metre apartment in the centre of Athens for 25,000. 25,000, would you believe that? 75 square metre apartment for 100,000 quid. Let's look at the photos. It's in the centre of Athens. Apartment in very good condition, excellent location near the historic centre with easy access to transport. It's 75 square metres on the second floor, but it's got photos. Hey, this looks all right, doesn't it? You know, uh, I'm interested. Go away, you. What is this? Hmm. Yeah, this looks all right, doesn't it, for a little apartment? So 75 square metres in the centre of Athens. For 100 grand it's basically a living room here's more of the living room here's a kitchen that is functional isn't it you know for a hundred thousand in the center of the capital city of greece for a hundred thousand euros that's crazy yeah i mean it looks okay doesn't it bedroom yeah separate bedroom so it's not a, it's not a bed sit it's not a studio Second bedroom, one bathroom, right? Is it? Yeah, okay, so here's a second, so it's a two bedroom. Two bedroom place. Oh, that's not so good on that back wall there, is it? But hey, it's only, that's, that's okay. That's just cosmetic, isn't it? It's not structural. Yeah, okay. No yeah, bathroom, you know, not bad. That's not bad. No, and let's look for the biggest one. We can see for 200,000, shall we? Why not? You know, you don't want to be cramped in there. You want a, you want a fair size place. Is that 96? Oh, 113. Uh, yeah, let's go for this 113. 200,000. This one looks good, doesn't it? Right. In Pagrati, the floor in a two family house with a total area of 113 square meters of sand. It consists of two bedrooms, a large reception room, a living room, an independent kitchen. Oh, bathroom has oil central heating, balconies around the perimeter with all it. Let's not beat around. That's a bit of a dingy photo, isn't it? Not the best, not the not, not the best photography skills there. But actually, when you look through the photos, you see that it's actually not bad. It needs a bit of work, actually, doesn't it? Like, yeah, maybe it's a little. Uh, oh, nice balcony there. That's good, it's got lots of potential. Stairs going up to the roof. Roof terrace. Let's have a look inside again. I think this needs a bit of work doing to it. I think it's slightly dated and that it's, what's the word I'm looking for? Hmm. Yeah, it might need modification or modernizing a bit. Unless you like the old fashioned traditional styles in which case you know this is fine so that's two hundred thousand. i think that's got potential myself that's what i would say there i don't think it's reached its potential i think it's got room for improvement right the most bangs for our bucks right so there's 125 216 Ooh, yeah let's have a look at that one i think that's the biggest one isn't it 300 detached house there we're having this one i haven't seen one that's more than 300 350,000. what do you get for it Let's look at the photos. You get a beautiful wooden staircase. Uh, yeah, an umbrella. That's nice. Wow. Yeah, you've got some cool ceilings. Tall, tall room, that, isn't it? Look, look how long the chandelier chain is there. Yeah, that's quite a tall room, isn't it? So it's going to be bright and airy. I think this is an old house. Yeah. 
It's got some beautiful old furniture in it. Look at this. Wow. Yeah, I think I think this is deeply cool. And again, I think that this house hasn't reached its full potential. I think it I think it could do some modernising. That needs a clean up, doesn't it, basically? That needs somebody with a pressure washer and a paintbrush. Not sure what that's showing, it just looks like somebody's backyard. Not the best shot of the backyard either. Hmm. Yeah, okay. So, you know, the the photos that you're seeing, they're honest, aren't they? They're not, um... How can I say this? They're not trying to make the place look anything that it isn't. And here you go, it's a kitchen, it's nice. Nice, good kitchen. It's got a bit of outside space and a free jumper. And I think it's ready to go. Really, I think I think it's a move move in and then see what you need to change the soonest and then remod it and really bring this up to scratch. Four bedroom. Four bedroom place. Right, okay, that's that's enough of that one. Enough of that nonsense. Which one would you go for? This is the question. Would you go for the Hundred thousand for the two hundred and fifty thousand, the three hundred and fifty thousand, or let's just go and just look now straight in a, a cool half a million. What do we get? Half a million quid in Athens. Did it? Uh, I didn't want that one, did I? Why did I? Why did I click on that one? That was too premature of me to do that. Let's do a rising price. We shouldn't have any rising price. They should all be the same. And they are, let's look for the biggest one, most bang for bucks in Athens, 200, 210 square metres, 350 square metres, 360 square metres, what's going up? Hang on, can I sort this by size? We should be able to, shouldn't we? Increasing the area increase. Let's do this. So the smallest one is 65 square metres. Wow, that's got to be a special, isn't it? That's got to be special. If you're going to spend half a million quid on an apartment, I'm, I refuse to look at that. That's craziness. Just crazy. Let's just go right up. What are we going to get? Let's just go straight in. Loads and loads of houses here. 400? <laughs> what are we going to get for half a million? Really? Let's keep going. A building, 700 square metre building. What do we get for 700 square metres? 12 bedrooms, 8 bathrooms, America Square. A five level building with a total area of 700 metres and available site consisting of a basement, a ground floor, two shops. Wow, 115 square metres, possibility of changing use in residences, three floors. Two. That's not really what we're looking for, is it? That's just a... That's not... A house let's just get a house office building no we're not into office buildings apartment building i don't want i want i just want to have detached house here we go detached house 526 square meters Ooh, this looks nice doesn't it look look at this look at this tree lined avenues let's read what we're going to get first what, what we're going to get for it very close to attica metro Attiki Metro, neoclassical building, within plan, flat, I don't know what that means, total area 526 square metres on a plot 9, two, two, no, 296 square metres, one-sided, building factor 3.6, coverage factor 60-70%, don't know what that means either, three independent houses, oh right, it's got three independent houses, so you're buying three houses, semi basin ground floor. No, we don't want three, do we? Just want one. Just one. This does say detached house. Nine bedrooms. I think, yeah, I think this is three properties all in one. Let's just quickly look through. They look nice, I tell you. Ooh. No, 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 no. That's not what I'm looking for. What we need is... That's a building, that's a whole building. 
a building, that's a whole building. Building, that's a, that's a whole building, that's a whole building. Apartment complex, no, we don't want that, do we? No, 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 that's not what we're looking for. Right, let's go back one. Six bedroom, six bathroom. Apartment complex, a building, a building. So you can buy a whole building for half a million. You know? Wow. I'm just going to move the camera over here. Yeah, like this. Let's move the camera over here. Right. So they're all buildings. It's difficult to find something that's just... Ah, here's a detached house. Let's see if we can go right down the bottom here for the biggest one. Building, 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 building. Lots and lots of buildings. Tea. Let's drink tea. A detached house. What is this? Detached house sale. On a plot, 360 square metres, condition in need of complete renovation, ground floor, three levels, Europe construction, 1950. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, yeah, okay. Right, let's look here. What do we get for half a million in a house that needs renovation? Trees. Okay. Needs a lot of work, doesn't it? It's probably going to be quite nice. I think you could do a lot with this. Look at this. It's big. Got some nice features to it. Nice classical features. That's not a nice classical feature. Staircase. Staircase. Looking down into some kind of kitchen is that an old kitchen or an old workshop or something a storeroom uh, it's got a some kind of cooker hood thing going on here hasn't it yeah maybe an old kitchen not sure outside yeah it needs a lot of work doesn't it wow okay ancient bathroom that just all needs ripping out and putting like it oh you've actually got a floor plan look wow okay yeah, floor plan is big, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, right, okay, so that's... Again, that needs a lot of work. Yeah, I don't think that has reached its full potential by any stretch. I think you could do something truly magnificent for that. But what do you get for a million pound apartment in Athens? So... 125 square metres on the third floor, three bedrooms, living room, kitchen, bathroom and WC. It was built in 1968 with energy class D and has central heating, oil, wooden frames, tiles, wood floors, security door, built in wardrobe, elevator, AC, op AC opening. I don't know what that means. Uh, price, a million quid. Right, let's look. Photos, please. So a balcony overlooking a nice street with some trees. Um, some doors leading out onto a balcony. So you've got nice parquet style flooring uh, in traditional brown with skirting boards and brown trim and brown doors on white walls. You can change all of that. It's all quite nice, isn't it? It just needs a little work. This is quite cool, this is, isn't it? And what else we have? Bathroom, yes. Oh, doesn't show the bathroom. I think I could sell photography skills to estate agents. Yeah, let's have a look at this one. This looks a nice one, doesn't it? Here's a modern-ish thing. Yeah, big. It just said big. <laughs> that is the living room <laughs> overlooking Athens kitchen this is modern modern isn't it this looks like a boardroom why would you that's okay though isn't it if you wanted a kitchen it would work well here's all the bedrooms 
Those heads are a little small, aren't they? Bathroom with a half bath and a shower. Yeah, this looks this looks ready to go, doesn't it? That's that's new. That is, and that looks very nice. Oh, thirty-three million quid or euros. What do we get for this? Located in the most prestigious and very central area of the city, a short distance from the President's residence and the residence of the Prime Minister, the Athens Conservatory, the Officers Club, Military and Byzantine Museum. So it's in the right place. What do you get? Property is luxurious and owned by a single person. It consists of two basements, a ground floor, seven floors, reinforced concrete, and the main building service is extensive use for the main construction, while the exterior of the building is only covered and decorated with famous Dionysus marble. The two basements can accommodate parking for four cars. They've got a, a subterranean car park. This is 33 million. Let's just look at it. So, fantastic bathroom. Oh, it's very grand, isn't it? Oh, would you believe this? Eh? It is fantastic. It's got a rooftop terrace surrounded by other people's flats. It's got a gym, that's nice. And a swimming pool, which is also nice. And a small table with a red table. And chairs with big windows. It's got its own bar. That's very nice, isn't it? It's got, it's got a bar. And a gold-plated lift. There's house prices in Athens. I'm going to come back with house prices in other areas that people like to move to, such as Thessaloniki. We can look at some of Crete. We can look at Corfu. Uh, we can look at Santorini. Uh, Mykonos, you know, the, the, the places people like to go on holiday. And then what we'll do, like in future episodes, is we'll look at house prices in places that offer great value for money, such as this area in the Peloponnese, which, you know, when you can buy a house for 40,000 or 50,000 euros, and it's livable, and it needs a little bit of work doing to it, or a lot of work doing to it. But, you know, it, some of, there's some real bargains out there if you're prepared to live somewhere that's not the main holiday destination or one of the big cities. We'll look at all of that in future episodes. Right, anyway, cool. Fantastic. Like, share, subscribe. Email me in the email address in the description below. And also check out Patreon as well. Anyway, the main thing is to stay safe out there and thanks for watching. I'll speak to you soon.